hello friends welcome to this video lecture series on engineering mechanics so in this video we are going to talk about system of forces or force system so you all are familiar with what is a force in this particular video we are going to discuss about what actually system of forces are or what is force system so uh, when we talk about this system of forces or force system uh, so when an object is acted upon uh, by more than two forces two or more forces then we can say that it is a system of force or force system with that there are different uh, four systems that will be going across while solving the numerical so we'll go with the different types of system of forces or force system one by one first set of system of forces or force system is a concurrent force system and second one is non concurrent force system so we'll use the short form for force system fs so concurrent force system means what so if now this is x axis so this is y axis and if this is a point at which certain forces are acting force f1 force f2 force f3 of force f4 and force fy so if we check out now at this point we have two or more forces acting so we can call this as a system of force now with this if we check out all the forces are acting at a single point so their point of application is same so when all the forces are acting at a one common point then we call it as a concurrent force system now non concurrent force system is what so if the system of in the system of forces the forces are acting at different points means their point of applications are different so for this force f1 this is the point of application for this force this is the point of application for this force this is the point of application we'll check out here they are not acted upon at a single point so this is a non concurrent force system now the next set of force systems that we have are third one is coplanar force system and non coplanar force system if we want to define coplanar force system a very simple way we can say that when the forces are acting upon a single plane we can say it as a coplanar force system when the forces are acting at in different planes we can say it as a non coplanar force system but to understand in a better way always keep one thing in mind if we are dealing with a force system where we are studying it in two axes where we are considering only x and y or some other two axes then that this force system we can call it as a coplanar force system if you are learning force system in a three dimensional approach means where we have three axes x y z or some other then we can call that as a non coplanar force system so if this is x and if this is y axis so here we are dealing with only two axes and if if you have such kind of forces f1 f2 and likewise so if we we'll check out this is forming a coplanar force system why because we are dealing with only two axes x and y if we have such kind of force system where we have three axes into play so x y z and if you are learning the force systems in this kind of approach then we can call it as a non coplanar force system where we are studying this forces or force system in three axes so this is coplanar force system this is non coplanar force system now we have learned what is concurrent what is non concurrent what is coplanar what is non coplanar with that we have certain other subsidiaries or uh, what can say alterations or other versions of this concurrent force systems or uh, coplanar force systems so what are those so if we'll check out here this particular force system it is coplanar also why because it has been uh, dealing with two axes with that it is concurrent so why it is concurrent 
because the forces are acting at single point first of all it is coplanar why because two axis and with that as the force are acting at single point it is a concurrent force system also so we can call it as a coplanar concurrent force system now there is there is one more version of this uh, that you may come across so in coplanar so this was coplanar concurrent you may also come across coplanar means where you are dealing with x and y but non concurrent force system for example if this is a beam beam a b and now if here there is one force acting f1 if there is another force acting here f2 if there is one more force acting here f3 so if we we'll check out first of all we are learning this in two axis x and y this is coplanar but if we we'll check out the forces are acting upon at different points of application so they don't have a single common point at which they are acting so this is a non concurrent force system but with that it is also a coplanar force system so it is a coplanar why we are studying in two axis x and y and with that it is non concurrent why because acting at different uh, points the forces are acting at different points so coplanar non concurrent force system coplanar concurrent force system now regarding non coplanar force system if we we'll check out this is okay non coplanar but with that it is a concurrent force system also why because all the forces are acting at single point so this is a first of all concurrent and with that it is a non coplanar so non coplanar concurrent force system in non coplanar also you may have non concurrent force system so if this is x this is y this is z so now as we are dealing with three axes non coplanar but if in this system we have such kind of forces f1 f2 f3 so if we we'll check out here as we have three axes it is non coplanar but as the forces are having different points of application so this is not a concurrent force system this is a non concurrent force system so we can call it as a non coplanar non concurrent force system we have the next set of force system that will be going to is collinear force system and non collinear force system so what is collinear force system when the forces acted upon in a force system are having same line of action so if we we'll check out all these forces are acting upon a same line of action now this is a collinear force system so other example that you can take is likewise if this is force f1 if this is force f2 if this is force f3 so this is forming a collinear force system because the line of action is same so obviously what will be non collinear force system the force system in which the forces acting are having different line of action we'll check out this f1 force is acting likewise this f2 force its line of action is acting likewise this is the line of action of f3 force so they are not having one common line of action and that's why this is non collinear force system and then we have the last set of force systems parallel force system so in this we have two types so the first one is like parallel force system and the second one is unlike parallel force system now what is like parallel force system so if we have a beam ab likewise and if 
we have such kind of force system where all the forces f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 they are their line of action is first of all parallel to each other so these are the line of action of these four forces five forces they are parallel to each other with that why they are like why it is called like parallel force system because all are having same direction or all are moving along same direction upward so this is a like parallel force system so i hope that you all have understood what will be unlike parallel so if the same beam if you are taking and if same forces we are taking so if this is force f1 but now if force f2 is acting downward force f3 is acting upward force f4 is acting upward force f5 is acting downward so here though the line of action of this forces is parallel to each other okay they are parallel force system but the directions are opposite to each other some forces are acting upward some forces are acting downward so that's why it is a unlike parallel force system so this are the different types of force systems that will be coming across while solving the numericals in engineering mechanics i hope that you all have understood this different types of force systems thanks for watching it